Hi friends and favorite shoppers, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be bringing you a Bath & Body Works haul video. It has been a while, I've just done one on my channel, um, but I saw the sale for the single wick candles when they were only $5.95, so I purchased a bunch of them, um, mostly for fall because we are just so excited to get ready for that season. It is right around the corner. Um, I did also purchase a few hand soaps that I'll um, unbox with you. And I have an order of three wick candles from back in May that I never even opened the box when they came. So I kind of just put them in a storage cabinet and I thought I would unbox those as well since it's mostly all about candles. Um, so if you aren't familiar with my channel, um, I do lots of shopping and I just like to share kind of that hobby of shopping with all of you, share the deals and um, you know what I'm into and all of that. So um, my channel is called For the Love of Hauls and my name is Mary. I am from Central New York. So fall, you know, getting into this video, fall is my favorite season. Uh, I lived in Florida for 15 years and Florida has nothing on the falls in Central New York. So moving back, um, that was one of the main factors of why I wanted to move back. Um, but anyway, if you are interested in Bath & Body Works or shopping in general and just curious to see what scents I picked up, stay tuned. So I have um, picked up 13 single wick candles and 7 hand soaps plus the 6 three wick candles. So we are just going to go right through them. Um, so I'm just gonna grab them as I go. They're in no specific order. I have unboxed them already just to kind of cut down on time um, because if you've ordered from Bath & Body Works, you may know that they come in this kind of like cardboard sleeve that's supposed to protect them when they ship them, um, which is funny, they care about that, but your box arrives just in shambles. Um, things look like they were just tossed in the box. And I'm sure that has to do with, you know, FedEx or UPS as it's in transit, but um, I do appreciate the sleeve. It does seem to protect them. I have been lucky that no candles that I've ordered have come broken. Um, so I haven't had to deal with customer service or anything like that. But let's get into the first scent this is caramel pumpkin swirl i really love the single wick candles and how they're more of like the mason jar um uh, lid and all of that because um i think it just adds a little extra because i use candles also as decoration so this really adds to it so caramel pumpkin swirl it kind of has that like chalk Board design look on the label and the notes in it are luscious caramel ground cinnamon brown sugar and creamy vanilla um, the single wick candles get 25 to 45 hours of burn which is funny because the um, three wicks also get 25 to 45 hours of burn um, three wicks obviously are a little bit stronger uh, and they burn faster so you know, it's kind of up to you what your preference is, but single wicks really, um, they're great to kind of put in different areas of the house. If you're looking for one fluid fragrance in your house, the three wick is obviously the way to go because it's powerful and can fill like your whole downstairs of your house. Um, so anyway, back to the caramel pumpkin swirl. Let's see how this one smells. Lots of caramel in there. I like it. Um, I do smell the cinnamon um, as well, but this is like a tried and true uh, fall fragrance. You can't really go wrong. Um, I really, really like it and I like the packaging on it as well. So that was Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I'm going to have to make room here as I smell them. All right, next up we have Sweater Weather. This is really cute. It's got the acorn um, on the front. And Sweater Weather is fresh, <laughs> fresh sage, juniper berry, uh, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. So it doesn't seem like a super strong fall fragrance with like the spices and stuff. This seems more of like the fresh side of um, fall, like maybe walking through the woods. So definitely get the sage right off the bat um, with the eucalyptus. It is like a very, very fresh fall fragrance. Um, you could almost burn this in the spring, I feel like, too. Very, very fresh. Um, probably not like a scent 
like when I think of fall in Bath and Body Works, I wouldn't think of this scent, but that's okay. Um, it's, it's really light. I like it. Um, very fresh smelling, but if you are really into fall and you're more for like the pumpkins and apple scents, that is not at all the notes in sweater weather. All right. Next, we have Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Um, you may notice a trend with me and how I shop Bath & Body Works, especially, I guess, going into fall, but anything with marshmallow, for some reason, that note, I am just like super attracted to as far as smells go. So, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow has Tahitian Vanilla, Pumpkin Spice, Homemade Marshmallow, and Drizzled Caramel. Um, I think I like that creamy scent of marshmallow and that this has that with the spice too. So a really nice balance. I really, really like it. You'll see a couple other uh, fragrances that have marshmallow in it too that I've picked up both hand soap and uh, more candles. So vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. That again has that like chalk design label on it, which I think is really cute. Um, it kind of goes with like the farmhouse decor, if that's what you have in your house. Um, that is mostly what I have in my house. Um, so I really like that design. All right, next up is one that I already know I love. I've been burning it for years. Uh, I actually worked at Bath & Body Works probably 10 plus years ago. I don't even remember which years I worked there. Um, but I fell in love with most of the fragrances when I worked there. I got to learn a lot about them and about the products. And um, this scent was out when I worked there 10 plus years ago. And that is Cranberry Woods. Um, it is just a nice fall fragrance. The notes in it are tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. Um, not super spicy for fall, but more like when I think of um, cranberries, I think of fall too. So I think that's the other fruit side of fall, which I already know I love this fragrance. It's one of my favorites. It's just, I just love it. I kind of wished in packaging, the label is scraped from shipping. Um, so it's kind of messed up a little, but that's okay. So Cranberry Woods has been around for so long and I will still continue to burn it. I love it. All right. Next up, we have one that's been around for a couple years and that's Hot Cocoa and Cream. Really cute with the mug, but in the mug, it's like a mountain um, scene up there. So Hot Cocoa and Cream is decadent milk uh, chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows, of course. You can't have hot cocoa without marshmallows. So this is just a really creamy milk um, chocolate fragrance. Um, it's probably going to make you hungry when you burn it, but that's okay. Scents like this, um, I kind of tend to carry over to winter as well because, you know, hot cocoa, that's not just fall. That's like all, all cold season um, around. So that I probably could save for winter as well. But really creamy, chocolatey smelling, just delicious, very nice fragrance. Next up, we have another um, very classic fall scent and that is called Autumn. Um, Autumn is bright red gala apple, juicy fig, and eucalyptus leaf. So more of a fresh kind of scent, not spicy fall. Definitely smell the apple in there. Just really crisp, nice, fresh scent. I love Autumn. I mean, if you've been a customer of Bath & Body Works, you've probably owned something Autumn. Um, like the candle, they used to have the oil, the room sprays, all of that. Um, just a really, really nice, fresh fall scent. Next, on, next one up, um, this is not a fall fragrance, but this, um, when I was kind of looking down the page to see what I wanted to order and saw this, it kind of brought me back to the days when I worked at Bath & Body Works. This actually was the number one fragrance, um, and that is Japanese Cherry Blossom. So I used to actually hate this fragrance when I first started at Bath & Body Works. I thought it was too strong. I, I just, I did not like it at all. 
but being the number one fragrance when we'd have to do demos in the store um you know husbands would come in shopping for their wives we had to have a go-to fragrance so i was constantly using and selling and smelling japanese cherry blossom so it really grew on me i honestly haven't smelled it in a very long time so once i take this lid off the jar i'm probably just going to go back memory lane um, and you're going to come with me but before we do that the the notes in it are japanese cherry blossom mimosa petals and cedar wood so here we go oh my gosh i forgot how much i loved it it's like just such a lovely light just uh, it has a sweetness to it i just love it i love it i don't know what the number one fragrance is now i feel like bath and body works isn't as classic as it used to be with fragrances like you would walk in and there would be like the six classic fragrances um but now they just bring out so many new like body care and all of that that i don't even know if they can judge what a number one fragrance is and then they're always bringing back the retired ones too but like i said when i worked there this was the number one fragrance it was all about japanese cherry blossom we'd sell out of it at the holidays it'd be the first fragrance to go um just so so nice oh my gosh i may have to burn this like tonight <laughs> all right so we have five uh single wick candles left to go through okay next one this is my all-time favorite aromatherapy fragrance i am obsessed with it i have never had it in a candle before so I, I don't know it may compete with japanese cherry blossom for tonight but this is the aromatherapy uh relax um it says relax used to be sleep so i'm not quite sure when that changed like my lotion upstairs on my bedside table it's sleep so that's interesting but it is the black chamomile um i know chamomile in general is a relaxing fragrance um so maybe they switched it from sleep to relax because of that but first of all i love the colors of black chamomile the black with like the almost bronze rose gold um i just love that and the notes in it are obviously chamomile which calms the mind and body and bergamot oil which creates a sense of well-being um i use this for sleep i have the pillow mist obsessed with it i am absolutely obsessed with this fragrance so when i sniff it i already know I just I love it I have the shower gel I have the pillow mist the lotion now the candle um, I ordered the soap the hand soap just obsessed with it highly 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 recommend that fragrance um, for anything love it all right next up we have the most basic fall fragrance and I say basic because you'll see posts about you know the girls being basic this time of year because of pumpkin spice latte so I ordered it I actually haven't smelled this before for Bath and Body Works but I do drink pumpkin spice lattes I was actually really excited because the hospital I work in has a Starbucks in the lobby but it's not like a legit Starbucks it brews Starbucks um, coffee and makes the same drinks so when the manager got the flavor in um, she didn't wait she put it right out and we could start ordering it so I've been drinking them for a couple weeks now um, but this candle has fresh espresso pumpkin pie well it says space I think they mean spice um, so pumpkin pie spice whipped cream and sprinkling of cinnamon sugar um, I also love coffee flavored scents um, one of my favorites is uh, Paris cafe of the Bath and Body Works I have that in the three wick candle actually right over there um, obsessed with it so I'm hoping this is right along with that mmm that is nice that has more of like the espresso fragrance than pumpkin um, but hint of pumpkin hint, hint of spice but mostly espresso really creamy oh really nice that's probably gonna be one of my favorites so nice love it very very nice all right next up 
I have another one where the label got a little scratched up, but that's okay. Um, we have Autumn Woods. So this, I love this label. It's got like this tree and the leaves on it, really light blue, very pretty. Um, so inside Autumn Woods, you have dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. I love lavender so much. Um, I even put it in my coffee grounds when I brew my coffee to get that lavender flavor. Um, also mixed with marshmallow, uh, like the Jordan's skinny syrup mixes, put that with my coffee, delicious. So Autumn Woods I'm hoping I really like because I love lavender. This is very fresh. Definitely smell the lavender um, and for sure the amber. It's, it kind of smells like a bar of soap almost, like so clean and fresh. I don't know that I would associate this so much with fall. Maybe I would almost say more of spring for me. Like I could burn this multiple times throughout the year, not just fall. Um, but a very, very fresh fragrance. Um, not super fall themed, I would say. Three more. All right, this is obviously a fall cult classic with Bath and Body Works. It's again, been around since I worked there over 10 years ago. I actually had this fragrance in um, one of their decorative candles. It was a ceramic acorn. Um, I actually had a couple of them and I still have the ceramic acorn. It's just empty now because I've burned through the candle and that fragrance is leaves. This is just um, an all time favorite. So leaves, you have crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Um, this, I mean, if you've been a Bath and Body Works customer, you have probably owned leaves. That is my dog, Spike. <laughs> um, that's that spicy apple scent. Like if you're, um, maybe you have, you're making like apple cider in the crock pot or applesauce and that smell that just fills the house. That is just a perfect fall fragrance. All right, last two. We have pumpkin apple. Doesn't get any more fall than the two put together. Oh, a loud car went by, that's why the dogs are barking. They're very protective. Um, so again, you have that chalkboard design looking label and this has notes of red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove bud. So you may get a little bit more spice because clove can be kind of a stronger spice scent. Mmm, really, really nice. I smell the apple more than pumpkin. It's like a spiced apple scent for me. I'm not really getting much pumpkin, but really nice. It's, um, wasn't that a scent, spiced apple? I could be making that up but I feel like that was a scent from when I worked there. This reminds me of that. Yeah, for sure, spiced apple. Still really nice. All right, last single wick candle we have is blueberry maple pancakes. More of that chalkboard looking label. Um, I also am obsessed with blueberry. Like if I go to Dunkin', my go-to order is a blueberry coffee. Um, a lot of people don't know they have the blueberry syrup there, but most, if not all, Dunkin's have it year round. Um, when I get it and on my drive to work, like the smell of the coffee fills my car and I just love the smell of blueberry. So this has wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. So let's see. Oh my God. This smells just exactly like it says, blueberry maple pancakes. Like hot off the griddle. <laughs> That's really nice. I love blueberry. That is perfect. Mm, I love it. That smells great. All right, so you have worked through my single wick candles with me. I'm gonna go into the seven hand soaps that I ordered and then we'll jump back over to the three wicks from back in May. I don't even know if you can still get these fragrances on the website because they are, you know, kind of like seasonal with their um, candles. But let's go into the hand soaps. I'll start with the ones that are duplicates of the uh, single wick candles that I got. So first up is, see, it's, I'm so confused. First up is the black chamomile, which if you look, I'm so confused. I always thought it was aromatherapy sleep. 
On the hand soap, do you see that? It says sleep. On the candle, it says relax. Maybe they don't wanna promote sleeping while you're burning a candle, I get that, but is it sleep or relax? I don't know, either way, I love it. Um, so I got the foaming hand soap. All the soaps I order are the gentle uh, foaming hand soap. So black chamomile with bergamot, um, really just really nice hand soap. I'm gonna put this in the upstairs bathroom because we really only use that bathroom like bedtime because it's upstairs. We spend a lot of our time um, on the first floor of the house. So that will go upstairs. Next we have the um, sweater weather, which was the one with the acorn on the front. And that's notes of sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. So just a very fresh fragrance. Uh, the other ones I got, there's a couple that aren't just kind of like fall fragrances. Um, one of which being Sunshine and Lemons. I really love this bottle. It's like that marble look. Um, so Sunshine and Lemons I would put in the kitchen. I think that lemon, um, I pretty much always constantly have lemon hand soap in the kitchen because you're cutting and working with like onions and things like that when you're cooking and the lemon is just so good at cutting um, the smell of food on your hands. So this has yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays, which I love when they put something like sun rays as a note. Like how do you bottle sun rays? I don't know, but Bath and Body Works, they have it down. Um, ooh, really fresh. I can smell the grapefruit in there too. That's really nice. Um, love it. Next up we have Vanilla Eucalyptus love the bottle with the gold and the green this has creamy vanilla eucalyptus and citrus zest let's see mm. really nice really really nice i love that really you can use this all all year it doesn't have to be a fall fragrance and the next one is a fall fragrance and that as I said, love marshmallows, is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, this has creamy pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and warm praline. And um, I didn't mention when we were going through the candles, mm, I love that creamy scent. But one of my favorite, probably, I would say my number one fall fragrance, and I also burn it in the winter too, is Marshmallow Fireside. I am obsessed with that. I have it already, so I didn't order it this time around. Um, I actually have a brand new one right over there. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Marshmallow Fireside, I feel like I would be doing you an injustice, injustice if I didn't talk about it. The, the notes in it are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. It, oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. Um, you get that creamy marshmallow scent with like a crackling fire. Does not get any better than that for fall and winter. I am just obsessed and I get sidetracked quite a bit when I talk about Bath and Body Works. So we just smelled marshmallow pumpkin latte, really nice creamy fall fragrance. Um, then we have blackberries and basil. Um, I think this could also be like a summer fragrance because when I think of blackberries and basil, I think of my garden. Um, I have basil growing in between my tomato plants out back and then I actually have blackberries growing um, right outside the window on the side of the house. So it's summer, obviously. So when I think of that, I think of summer. Mm. That's okay. Um, I think I don't really get a true basil fragrance like when I go and pick tomatoes off my plant like the aroma of the basil is so strong and I'm not really getting that in this hand soap but maybe when I actually use it um, I'll smell it a little bit differently all right last up for hand soap I thought this was really cute and as I said I love espresso scents this is love ya a latte it is so cute it's got a little mug with a face on it um, it says whipped espresso on the front so it's espresso bean, creamy vanilla, and whipped sugar. Um, I love a classic vanilla scent too, like the you know the classic warm vanilla sugar. That is just so nice. But this is really nice. Um, 
I again the espresso mixed with vanilla it's a really good combo and I would say a hand soap like this like it's kind of a fall fragrance but not really it could be all year round I think I'm gonna save this just because of the cute packaging and the phrase love you a latte um, for around Valentine's Day I think that would be really cute and it's pink so that will go in the guest bathroom around Valentine's Day all right so we have worked through the single wicks the hand soaps I ordered and now I'm going to get into the fragrances that are more of like summer because I ordered them in late May and like I said and they arrived I kind of put them away and never looked at them again because I did go back to work I had been um, working from home during like the quarantine and all of that with COVID and then late May I ended up going back to work part-time and then immediately almost back to full-time being in the hospital so these are the three wicks that I ordered in May, so I'm sorry if you can't find them anymore, but I still think it's fun to talk about fragrances, so if you're still interested, keep watching. Um, so first up, I am just, I tell you what I love and I stick with it. This is lavender vanilla, or I'm sorry, lavender marshmallow. So like I said, my coffee, I put the lavender in the coffee grounds, brew it so the coffee naturally tastes like lavender, and then I add the marshmallow um, skinny syrup. Sometimes I also add the white chocolate skinny syrup to that, so you get like a lavender white mocha marshmallow. <laughs> I don't know, you can do a lot with coffee these days. So this packaging is super cute, I love it. You have the lavender sprigs there, um, the dessert, just super cute. So the notes in this are fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, fresh vanilla bean, and then all the candles say with essential oils. So good. Mmm, I love it. So good. I just, the creamy lavender scent, it just makes me so happy. Obsessed. Love it. All right, next up we have uh, Tiki Beach. So this is cute packaging. You have all these like little X's on it. It's silver. Um, this is warm vanilla musk, orchids, toasted coconut. Um, I am not huge on like the floral fragrances. I get a couple a year to burn in spring. Um, this year I did the Perfect Peony, which was a new fragrance. I had burned through my old fresh cut lilacs candle and um, I had, I don't remember what the other one was. Um, so I don't remember, but anyway, I am curious to see how strong the floral scent is in this. Hmm, not strong at all, which is making me happy. Um, it actually has the sweetness to it in a very light floral fragrance. It's almost like a milder Caribbean escape to me. Um, maybe it's that coconut, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna grab, I have a Caribbean escape sitting right here too that I'll compare the notes. They may be completely off, but that's what it reminds me of. Let's see. Okay, so I just grabbed the Caribbean escape. Um, this is what the, the packaging looks like. Mm, so much stronger. This is, this would be a completely like toned down from, this would be a 10 to a one almost. So let's see, Caribbean Escape has tropical melon, raspberry nectar, creamy coconut milk. So obviously you have the coconut in the two and that's about it. <laughs> but for me, it is just a very toned down. A little bit more musky um, in the Tiki Beach, but if you like Caribbean Escape, I'm gonna say you'll probably like this Tiki Beach as well. All right, let's see here. Sunshine and Daffodils. Um, very classic, simple packaging. This has sunny daffodils, bright citrus, and luscious greens. So I'm guessing it's just like a very fresh scent. If I can get the lid off. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of Oh, this is gonna be really weird but like a men's cologne almost or maybe a perfume I don't know which one but it's 
it's definitely like the daffodil is a, the strongest like a floral scent in it so not overpowering um but it is a very fresh bright like sunshine scent i like it i, I think i'll enjoy burning it um it could be spring or summer all right next we have lemon mint leaf um very bright yellowish green um label this is sparkling lemon zest spearmint leaves verbena sprigs mm. Mm. it's like the old scent lemon verbena i really like that it, it kind of brings me back um you can smell the mint in it too but if you remember um i think it was seal bigelow line that they carried and I, they probably still do um that was a lemon verbena scent and it smells just like that i really like it very fresh love it all right last two three wicks we have southern magnolia super cute packaging with blue flowers um, I'm guessing this is gonna be like fresh cut floral scent, um, kind of like fresh cut lilacs was. Yes. I love magnolia trees, by the way. Um, I don't have any, but we take walks up and down our street and there's, there's a few here and then on our side street, one of our neighbors has one. And when they are in bloom, they are just beautiful. Um, so this has white gardenia fresh magnolia blooms and lemon verbena. I definitely smell the gardenia, very strong floral, um, but a nice, nice, not, not too strong, um, but probably, probably the strongest you get for a floral scent. And last is Flamingo Beach, really pretty label. Um, makes me sad to look at because I was supposed to go to Myrtle Beach. Um, I was supposed to leave Sunday. Today is Thursday um, for a week, but COVID canceled it. Um, I could go, but unfortunately I live in New York and South Carolina is on our, um, if you travel there, you have to quarantine for two weeks after and I just can't do that with work. So my family and I decided to just cancel, unfortunately. Um, so Flamingo Beach is pink summer berries, juicy orange, dewy white petals. Mm. I like that. It's a subtle fragrance with a, a little bit of sweetness. Oh, I like that a lot. Really pretty. Really nice. I say nice and pretty and I love it a lot. It's hard for me to come by a fragrance at Bath and Body Works that I don't at least like. Um, very few fragrances have been like Mm, don't want to smell that ever again um moonlight path the original moonlight path i could not do i would dread when somebody would come in and i would be working with them and selling and and they would want to try it oh i did not like it because we actually did a lot of touch in bath and body works if you were a customer and you wanted to try things like we would put lotion on your hand and we would you know sometimes rub it in um, Moonlight Path just was not for me. However, they did kind of like a reboot of it and it was called Moonlight Magic. That I could work with. It had a sweetness to it, not that musky scent. Oh my gosh, could not work with Moonlight Path. Um, but like I said, very few fragrances are like on that list for me. Most I love. Um, so that is everything that I have for today. Um, I just love going through this stuff with you. I would love to hear from you what some of your favorites are, or I'm curious to see which fragrances maybe you just couldn't work with, like Moonlight Path for me. Um, so drop some comments below. Um, be sure to like the video. Let me know that you enjoy the content and um, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified of any future uploads because I will plan to do the hand soap video coming up. Um, if you're at all interested in jewelry, I do the mystery boxes for Uncommon James each month. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.